Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce joined by Stevenson head men's basketball coach Gary Stewart. And coach, uh, just one game last week, uh, you hosted Alvernia. Um, we were able to, um, you know, unfortunately fall behind there for quite a bit to start the second half, but you were able to fight back and make it a game at the end. Um, just take us through that game a little bit. Yeah, I was really proud of the way our kids competed in the second half. Um, um, Alvernia played really, really well in the first half, and uh, they present a lot of problems because they can shoot so well from the perimeter, and and um, and we got driven up. Um, and, and so when when that's happening, when you when they're driving the ball and putting the ball in the paint with the dribble, um, and your defense um, is is in no man's land where you're not helping off enough to stop the penetration, but you're not um, there on the rival um, of the pass to shooters. Um, you're gonna you're gonna give up some points, and we did. Uh, fortunately for us, in the second half, we were able to get some rhythm offensively. We struggled offensively in the first uh, 12 to 14 minutes of, of the game, and uh, but exploded in the second half, a 59 point second half. Uh, so there's a lot of things that we can take out of that um, that we uh, hopefully can apply not only um, uh, this week but uh, moving forward. Yeah, you had a couple guys during that second half kind of step up. One in particular, Jonathan Mustamo, who really stepped up big in that second half and uh, had a career-high 14 points. We got great production from Jonathan, and, and we're excited about him. He's a guy that um, had an outstanding high school career, and, and you can see him getting better and better in practice. I thought uh, – uh, Cam Hayes, uh, mm -hmm. excuse me, Cam Harris was uh, um, a person that provided some uh, great energy for us too, and had mm -hmm. hit uh, hit a big shot there. And, and uh, we, we've been getting some good production from our bench. Uh, uh, Mark, yeah, uh, absolutely. Mark was excellent um, in the second half as well. Yeah. And and again, I would I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention Kobe. You know, he's yeah. a, he's a guy. Uh, sometimes you forget about him because um, you know he's a, a normal rotation guy. Right. But uh, but he's been been really good for us too as well. Yeah, and Kobe's yeah. He kind of comes in. He kind of makes one or two plays every game. So you kind of almost forget about him. But you're right. Yeah, he has a unique. Uh, uh, ability as a as a young freshman to have a calming influence. You know, yeah. he takes care of the ball. He makes really good decisions. Um, you've got to guard him. Uh, he can get by you. Um, he can, he's a three level guy. He can get to the rim. He's certainly got a good mid range game and an excellent uh, 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 perimeter game in general. Yeah, um, one of the things obviously to take away that it's kind of happened the last few games. The start of second half seems like teams have kind of made a r their run and start of second half. And we've talked about it before that. You've got to try to figure out how to limit that run. Have you have you gone back, looked at the film the last three or four games, try to take a look, see what you can do to kind of help limit that so they don't get a second half lead or get back in the game? Yeah, Greg, I don't know if it's so much second half as it as much as it's runs. Yeah, and and now how do we minimize runs? Um, we're we're having a uh, a period where we're um, coming up empty on the offensive end. And that affects our energy on the defensive yeah. end. And when that happens, um, and a team now um, scores um, three, four, or five straight possessions, um, y you've got some problems. And that's what's happened to us. And, and so we've got to find a way to uh, get stops yeah. and, and also um, stay aggressive offensively. Yeah, like we've talked about, every team's going to make a run. You know, that's just the sport of basketball. But try to limit those runs so they don't become 10, 12, 14 points. Yeah, the, it uh, – it was a, it turned out to be an insurmountable lead on a Saturday uh, because we got behind by so much. Once uh, once we got going, uh, we were pretty good. I thought we played as well as we played all year in some uh, some aspects. But um, but we can ill afford to have teams um, get a double figure run on us in this league and expect good results uh, night in and night out. Absolutely. And talking about the league, I'm right back at it tonight. Um, you go to Hood and then host Arcadia on Saturday. Two tough games against two you know. Two opponents that, you know, I mean, really the whole league's close, but two opponents that you figure to be battling with for a playoff spot. Well, the league is is tough, and uh, we knew that going in. There's no easy nights. Um, if, if you play our league, start it again from scratch and play it again, you'll get a different uh, result in terms of the way teams would finish. Yeah. Um, it, it's so close and so unpredictable. You really have to worry about yourself. And, yeah. and um um, but it makes it exciting. If you're a competitor, you like to play against people that are um, uh, that challenge you. And uh, um, we're literally looking forward to uh, closing out the first half here uh, tonight, and then uh, seeing what we can do uh, um, in the second half of conference. Yeah, absolutely. Second go around starts Saturday with Arcadia right here at Owensville Gymnasium. Yeah, it's a certainly a mental toughness exercise. Uh, 
um, and again, it, it brings out the best in you if you're a competitor. And and um, we feel um, good about our team. We feel good about uh, um, our ability, and we've got some things that we um, are convinced we can fix. And and um, you know, and we'll see where that. Uh, um, takes us in the second half. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck this week. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. And as always, thanks for your time. Thank you, Greg. For Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.